Hey guys, it's Tom at R1 again. Um, if you saw the previous video, we just built up the gear diff. Now we are ready to put the transmission together. So the first thing we are going to do is put on the motor plate. Um, so we need to put these two flat heads into the top here. And since the AE normally has a motor guard or a spur guard, we need to shim this a mil and a half. So we will shim these pieces here. It's easiest to put it through like this first. And then set this down on top. Let's see the screws in. Tighten these up. Just like so. And then the third screw on the bottom does not need a shim. Otherwise it will not be straight. And there we go. So now we will move on to putting on the top shaft. So we're gonna put one bearing on here. So now we're gonna put this bearing through here. And then we're going to put the adapter for the spur gear. I'm gonna use these three six mil buttons. To secure the spur gear on. Just like so. And then we can put this adapter on after you put this shim through here. Just like that. And then line up the flat sides, It'll slide right on. And then we are going to put the eliminator screw through. And then there's also a bearing that you need on the other side for the other side of the case. Let's put that on now. And then we will tighten this nut here. You don't want to tighten this all the way, just want to have it pretty snug. So demonstrate that here. So that's pretty tight. I'll just back it off about a quarter turn. Make sure everything's moving free. So we're done with that. Now we need to put the bearings into the either gear. And then we'll use the either pin to align this. And make sure these are meshing properly. And then we will put the case on. We're gonna use the longest screws that come in this and we're gonna tighten the case together. You don't need to tighten these all the way. You don't want to uh, bind anything up. So just set these snug, pretty similar to how we did the slipper. Just go to where it bottoms and then just back it off just a little bit. Quarter turn is ideal. For now, we're going to leave the third one out. That goes here. Next, we are going to set this piece on here. It aligns with those two little tabs. Snaps on. And then I'm going to put the diff height inserts on. So basically, it seems like everybody's been running the highest diff height. So it's the 03 insert. 
and we want to make sure that these are the same on both sides. Pop the bearings in. This is how you want to orient it. You want this to the bottom and then the smaller side to the top. Drop this in. Make sure that both sides are the same. They are. Everything's moving freely. So now, put this top case over, just like so. And then you're going to use the smallest button head screw in this kit for the back two. For this, just like the diff, we want to go tighten across. So we're going to leave these loose at first, and then we will tighten fully. All right, now that we're getting all four of these in here, we're gonna slowly tighten them and orient them across. So tighten here, then here. Make these a bit tighter than the others. And tighten this up a bit. And do this one. Here. Just do this until it's completely tight. Now that this is tight, everything's together. And then to just secure this better, just one last screw. Just like the other case screws, we don't want to tighten these completely tight. Just get them snug. Make sure everything's spinning freely and your transmission's ready.